Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. Today, I want to switch around my weapons between Zhao Yun and Lu Xun, because I'm mostly going to have Lu Xun using tactics here, while Zhao Yun is mostly going to be handling the physical attacks, so I might as well give him the stronger weapon as we begin the assault on Guanling Castle. For boss time! Against Zhang Liao and Cao Zhen. Now, Zhang Liao is by far the most dangerous enemy in this battle, not only because of his really high stats, but also he has access to Jimian and En Sha. And I would like to recruit him as soon as we can, but I'm not going to be able to do that for quite some time, unfortunately. With Cao Zhen, he just has really good stats, but none of the tactics that I really care about from Zhang Liao. So what I'm going to do is... Yeah, I'm going to do something a little counterintuitive here. I'm actually going to have Zhuge Liang use En Sha on the weaker of the two for their intelligence. Because he'll have over 50 more intelligence than Cao Zhen has. So that'll give Zhuge Liang a 75% accuracy with En Sha. While the Zoom does not, so he would only have an accuracy of 50% against him. And against Zhang Liao, both of them have between 10 and 49 intelligence more than Zhang Liao, so either of them are going to have a 50% accuracy against him, so I might as well send the soon over there. So, yeah, in Cha accuracy, or tactics accuracy in general, uh, doesn't scale precisely with your intelligence. So there's certain benchmarks like that you want to watch out for. That's also why I wanted most of my generals to have at least 167 intelligence so that everyone, or most of them, would be between 10 and 49 intelligence more than, or less than Zhang Liao would have, so that way he would only have a 50% accuracy against most of us, except Tai Si Se, who he would have 75% accuracy with his own En Sha. But, oh right, we got him pretty easily there. Let's see what we got going on at Gwenling Castle. See, you got an in here, though I'm not going to use it right away. Okay, how's it going? No. Well, that seems like an overreaction. But what happens if I say yes? Yeah, I, I have him with me. Jiang Wei, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, so he is. Sure, why not? More party members! With Jiang Wei. And he is a really good addition to our party. <laughs> But yeah, unfortunately, with most of the generals in Chapter 8 so far, because of, well, you remember, they were saying how Tao P has eyes everywhere with his family, and that's to prevent them from betraying them and uh, joining our side in instead. So I like that bit of realism they uh, added to that. Let's see, I think it's up here, what that guy was saying there. Oh, no, I guess it's down here. There we go! Boye! That's what the guy, I guess, cut his foot on. Stepped on the grass or something going on there. Ha ha! Well, it's mine now! But, uh, oh, right, so yeah, we got a new weapon. It's not as... That is one of the five swords, by the way. But it's not quite as strong as the other two that we got so far. So, yeah, I'll rearrange my weapons shortly here. But first, I want to sell my splint mail because we're going to be getting a new armor for just about every... Well, yeah, everyone here. So we might as well, yeah, clear the inventory space a little bit there. Get that out of the way and then buy the equipment otherwise. It's the shop that I passed up there before. At least we didn't need to use any resurrects. But, uh, yeah, yeah, let's get that. 
Uh, no, no, I think we're good to go. We got all the armor out of the way. Oh, you know, I do need to sell a weapon, though. So, let's see, with Zhao Yun... No, I don't want to sell his weapon. But, uh, let's see. Okay, so... Yeah, how about we just get rid of your crossbow there? That'll be fine. Boye is much stronger than a crossbow still, even if it's not as good as the other weapons that I've got. And then, over here, yeah, let's buy some new armor. The plate mail, the ultimate armor in the game. Yeah, there's no, like, legendary armor with a more creative name attached to it. So, plate mail, that's as good as you're gonna get. Now, the lance is actually a really strong weapon, but it has the same attack or damage as you would get out of two hits of a crossbow. Except it's only in one hit. So, the advantage you would get out of the lance is... Like, you could use a power pill and apply it to all the damage, but I don't think that's really worthwhile for such a niche use. So, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that alone. Okay, so now, let's see, we got all the armor there. Let's, uh... Where are you? Yeah, let's get, uh, going back to... Uh, yeah, why don't we go back to Jizhou for that so I can also buy another Gullwing while I'm here. But yeah, let's get that going. I also need to get Jiang Wei going as well. I want to pull them out of the headquarters there. Madai's use has finally come to an end. We're finally going to get rid of him and have a lot of powerful generals. But, uh, no, no, I think that's good. Okay, so let's drop off Madai here, and then bring in Jiang Wei. Jiang Wei is also a Tiger General. I think he has the same HP growth that uh, Zhao Yun has. Okay, so we got all that settled. And then let's rearrange the party here. Oh, yeah, let me see what we've got. So yeah, he has the same number of soldiers that Zhao Yun has. But Jiang Wei has a lot, or yeah, he has a little more intelligence than him. So I would prefer to have Jiang Wei further up in the formation there. So yeah, another general that has more than 200 strength and intelligence. That'll be quite an asset to us. Okay, so to change up the formation, for now, let's put Zhao Yun and Jiang Wei together like that. Okay, get that. Zhou Yu, Lu Xun, that ought to be good. Then let's make Zhuge Liang my tactician. And I want to get Bo Ye on Zhao Yun there. And I'll give Qinglong back to Lusun. Since he already has over 10,000 soldiers. Oh, right. He uh, needs a little more room. Uh, let's see. Let's give that to Zhou Yu there. Okay, Qinglong over to Lusun. Okay, that ought to do. Very nice. Okay, so with Zhou Yu, yeah, let's give him, or equip the crossbow, let's get the plate mail over to him as well. Or get Zhuge Liang's stuff back over to him. And then with the resurrect, yeah, let's get that back to Zhou Yu for random battles. We can actually encounter uh, Zhang Liao in random battles now, but we can't recruit him still. Okay, so yeah, Chi Tu Ma, let's get that back to Zhao Yun. Okay, you're good to go. Get 
your armor back up. Okay, and then with Zhang Wei, he's still gonna have a crossbow, but he'll be fine. And as you said, get a little more armor there. Okay, so you've got one of the big swords. You've got one of those. Okay, yeah, I think we're good here. Now, actually, I don't need to use a uh, gold wing to get back to uh, Liu Bei. Let's just save here. Very nice. Then reload. And we're right back to, well, not where we were before, but we're as close as we're going to get. But how long could it possibly take to get to the next fortress in Wei? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.